Welcome back to the beautiful greenery of Hagenstad. As you can see, we have our canola, which is our cash crop, growing pretty well. I slowed down the time. I thank you to the people that mentioned the little uh, guide that they gave us when you download the game. There's a PDF file, which I just thought was just how to run the game, system requirements, all that stuff. But it actually is rather in-depth. It shows us a couple of different things, and uh, it's actually quite useful. Also, I learnt the key bindings. Um, it's kind of weird because... To speed up time or slow it down, you use the keys 7 and 8. So we can speed up time. I can slow it down by going pressing 7 and 8 instead of like plus or minus keys to slow up time or speed it up, which is kind of weird, but I'm sure we can change that. Or you can just change it through here, which is how I was doing it while I was just playing by myself, just learning everything. I also created a new save file, which was which I cheated a little bit. I went into my notepad and uh, gave my other save game like a million bajillion dollars. But let's go ahead and actually get to work. So this guy is going to automatically keep on seeding, which is nice. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm just going to let, let you do your own thing. Just stay there. Okay, now we need to bring up this trailer back up. So what we're going to be aiming for this episode, what I'm trying... Oh, you see that guy just spawned? There must be a car spawn right there and it just dropped down. If you didn't say that, just rewind because I'm sure the car just dropped down. It's kind of weird. But our aim for this episode at least is to go ahead and buy that second field, which is... Oh wait. Field 15. So we'll be aiming to go for field 15. I also learned how to get the eggs and sell them. Eggs, to be honest, are a complete waste of money. As is the beehive. The beehive costs what, 20 grand? And you only get about $40, $40 from it in a day. So it takes forever for you to make the money back. So it's not really worth it to be honest. Like it'll take like a long, long time. But then again, if you play at 120 times speed, it should be all good. But we aren't playing at 120 times speed because what happens with the speed is that the crops go really quickly but your, all your workers still work at the same rate. So what I want to do is I just want to have a full build of canola before we start uh, doing too much to it, like before we start cutting it down. Also, what I should do is just go ahead and check how much of everything we have. Not how much, oh god. I skip way too many things. I still have to learn, uh, I still have to learn the exact order that the PDA is at, like how it all works. So we still have a lot of canola. Okay, so I probably should go ahead and sell that. Excuse all the beeping sounds. Let's just see how much it's selling for. Ah, uh, it's actually not selling for that much, to be honest. Okay, well, what I could do, from what I read in the comments, like the fertilizers are there to stop the weeds and stuff, but there's no weeds in this game. Uh, in terms of the game, I think the sprays and fertilizers are exactly the same type of thing. Because they pretty much look like they, they do the same type of thing anyway. So, I love the spread of this machine. It's got a, such a large range. We missed our souls, thankfully. You've got to love the same character models, eh? And turn it off. That should be pretty much perfect. I should just drive up a little bit in front. So, we're going to be aiming for this. Let's just see how much it'll cost. Hopefully, nothing too drastic. Purchase field, $24,000, nice. So what I'll do is I'll do canola over here as well. And then probably in the next couple of episodes, thankfully I've got a lot of time today being the weekend, I will just be playing and playing and playing this. So lots of videos should be up for you guys. What we'll do over on that field, it costs about a hundred grand. Once we get that, we'll go ahead and plant wheat over here. Like just do a massive wheat farm. Um, but someone some people mentioned that with the canola you don't get as much per say per meter um, you don't get as much volume per meter if you understand what I mean so it's wheat sort of pays off a little bit more it's canola pays so well just because you need so much of it to make uh, money if that makes any sense but let's go ahead and actually get our harvester now actually we could just be lazy and do this there we go Everything's attached. It's nice that in this game, everything's attached once you uh, start the load game back up. Because previously, you had to attach everything up in 2011. But all we've got to do is just drive up here. 
Also, what I have noticed is that they have really improved the uh, driver AI. Oh, that's going actually pretty quick, even though we're going we're going at real time. Now, what the hell is happening? Oh, really? You have wheat? Silly me. Okay. Okay, so we need to put the pipe out. So press O for that. I need you to come back over here and need to get all that wheat so we can actually get to work on our canola. There's also a uh, greenhouse that you can have. and To be honest, I just think they're all a waste of money. Because they cost so much and it takes so long for them the money to come back to you. Okay. I love how dodgy that machine is. Now you start reversing. Yeah, now we better get out of the way. Quick smart. Okay, so that seed is all done, which is nice, of course. Uh, so, we have some wheat. How much wheat do we actually own? Oh, we actually have a fair bit, which is nice. We'll have a lot more now. Oops. Actually, not a lot more. 600 tons or liters. I think it goes by liters because that's an L. Okay, so what we should do is also get our eggs. I'll show you how that works. It's a bit like an Easter egg hunt at Easter, <laughs> to be honest. It's kind of weird because I thought the eggs would be all in one place and you just had to collect them, but this is kind of annoying the way... Oh, let's go back. Let's go over to them. People are making those annoying sounds as well. Okay, now we have to look for the eggs. And also, there is a horseshoe. As you can see, we have plus one egg, plus two, or plus one. There's a horseshoe somewhere over here. Although I can't see it. I could... I'm pretty sure it's over here. There we go. You picked up a horseshoe. But see, we couldn't really see it in that bush. I really don't like that. Like, why would you hide it? This it's like invisible pretty much. Okay, so let's just go over all these bushes just in case there are some eggs over here. I don't think there are any more eggs. Oh, is, sorry. Okay. So that's about enough eggs for the time being, but with the eggs, they really don't pay off too well. What I could do is just go to the shop, go to, no, not animals. We won't be getting animals for a long time, but as you can see, it gets, oh, it's actually $60 an hour, so. Oh, so maybe it's a little bit better than I previously thought, but still. Uh, it's like, well, to be honest, oh, it's $8 a day. Okay, well. Yeah. But you see, we have uh, greenhouses which you can invest in. It's $160 an hour. Okay. This is not as bad as I thought. All right. Now, what I did as well is I bought the Amazon or Amazon Profit Hopper, which is a shocking piece of machinery. Let's go ahead and deny that. Just if anyone is wondering what it is, it's that little cute machine, which is uh, actually kind of funny. We don't want to get our own vehicles. We want, I think it should be somewhere here. There we go, Moles. The Amazon Profit Hopper. It goes so ridiculously slow, it is so annoying. And it's got the smallest uh, carrying capacity for grass. It's kind of annoying, to be honest. So I really wouldn't recommend investing in that. It's a real big waste of money. But what I did do is I created a new save file with that, lots of money, as I mentioned before, and had a fair bit of fun with that. But we should go ahead and start selling some things. Let's see what's selling for a lot of money. Nothing really. Nothing that's too good. What about some barley? So it's, that's selling really well at the mill. We could go to the mill. Ah, uh, yes. And the AI, it does... What we should do to speed up time to... Speed up to 120 times, actually. Yeah, so the AI, the way it drives is... It goes like to the side at the start of the row and then it straightens itself out so it always leaves this little section. Kind of annoying. What's your problem? You're already done. Oh. 
Yes, you are. Sorry. Okay. Right. There we go. Over here. Thankfully, we've got nothing. We don't want to go under those silos because then they'll go ahead and deliver um, some stuff to us. Some wheat, which of course we don't want. So yeah, I'm going to be planning to go ahead and buy that second field this episode, which I will be pretty sure we'll do. We also should be getting all those uh, special uh, things, like those special great prices, I think they call them, in the game. So what they mean by that is Great Demands, sorry. It's called Great Demands and uh, it's a certain place in the map, such as your mill or whatever, they really give you a lot of money. It's like 1.8 times the normal price. It tells up, it t shows up in here. So that's kind of useful. Uh, what else is there? There's also auctions for the different fields, but some of the auctions are just for fields that are really, really far away. So it's not really good in, in good for investing in them yet so I won't be doing that now I wonder if this guy's gonna actually come back or not I wonder let's go ahead and deliver this we're playing at 120 times speed so the uh, seeds should grow up very soon hopefully I have to wait and see but let's keep on looking at the prices. No, canola seems to be going down, unfortunately. Barley seems to be quite pricey, so that's good. At the mill, oh wow, barley's selling for a lot of mill. So you know what we'll do? We'll slow down time. Because time, the game time actually does affect the prices. So, we go ahead and unload this. Bali, yeah, Bali's selling for a lot now. So. Bali is the second. Thing. Fill it up. Oh, Cadol is selling for a lot of the end as well. Okay, so from memory, we need to go around here and it's down south. Let's go open the map. Yeah definitely this direction. Playing it real time now. At least what the game says is real time. I don't think a minute is actually a real minute, but whatever. Here there's water fountains. Over here, that thing. I'm not exactly sure what water is absolutely necessary for. I think it's necessary for your greenhouses. You need to put like fertilizers and manure. Actually, maybe not fertilizer, but manure I'm pretty sure you need. There's lots of different uh, fancy machines. You need to do lots of technical stuff like some machines you can give really good feed to your cows and your sheep by mixing grass and the corn the chaff I think is what they call like the remnants of corn or something. It's all so technical Let's go ahead and go to the mill see if the prices are still up. Yep And then I think after that we'll go ahead and deliver some Nola to the inn go for a bit of a drive and then we should have more than enough money to be honest to go ahead and buy the second field yeah something tells me we won't be able to go through that tunnel it's a bit too black probably an invisible wall in this game oh. the hell did we hit that pole what is that pole doing there Beautiful. And we have more than enough money to go ahead and sell, oh well, buy that second field, which we'll go ahead and do. So we've got that down packed this episode, but what I want to do right now is get some canola. And what I'll attempt to do is go ahead and buy a bigger tipper. So what we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and get the tipper. And what you do is to get more money, because you can sell, sell any type of vehicle or thing that you have but you only get it at half price. But I think if you go to the shop and you bring your thing that you want to sell to the shop, 
then you actually get 70% for the price, I'm pretty sure. It's pretty good. So it actually works out better to bring your machines to the shop so that way you get more money. Which is obviously what we want, especially at the beginning of the game, because we're not making much at all. There's a house. Like, a house is absolutely nothing to do in the game. It's just there for aesthetic purposes. You don't need to go to sleep. Your guy can work all day, every day. How's that canola going? Yeah, this is the problem with canola. It grows so weirdly. It's probably just because of the time. But, see, we grow canola like... So this is what doesn't make sense. We grow canola in lines. That's how we sell it. But only certain sections of it... Oh, that's so weird. But only certain sections of it actually grow out first. We'll all eventually grow out. But let's go ahead and hire that worker. Okay. We'll get some canola now. Actually, maybe we should go ahead and buy that second field now. Would that be a good idea? We'll just go ahead and fill this up with some canola. Sorry. Okay. So, let's just go back to one of these guys. You're doing really well. I'm quite impressed. Okay, so you. I think this field is actually already cultivated, to be honest. I've got no reason to believe otherwise. Yeah, it seems like it's, it's cultivated. And it's all ploughed, so... I'm guessing we should be able to just go ahead and uh, grow our stuff over here. Just sow it right away. Uh, enter the field. 24 grand. Yes. Okay. Just have a little bit left. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to he go ahead and start planting my own seed. No homo. <laughs> it should work out fine. It seems like it's perfect to be honest. I've got no reason to believe otherwise. It's got the same texture of it being cultivated. so. And from memory, I did exactly the same thing when I was playing by myself, so it should work out. Let's hire the worker. Yeah, the worker AI is really, really good, because if you weren't directly straight with the AI previously, they would just go, like, in a straight line, so they wouldn't even themselves out. So if you were at a slight angle, by the time you'd reach the end of the farm, or the field, you'd be, like, in the center of it, not on the side, like, on the, where we are right now. But it's good that they did improve that. It's quite important. You're still doing your thing. Thankfully, you can't uh, actually get the things that aren't uh, fully grown. Okay, we have all this, so now it's time to go to the mill. Imagine if there was a great demand for canola. That would be crazy. But see, once you grow too much of one crop, then uh, the demand obviously falls down and you don't get the prices for it. Oh, that's actually really good money. $11,500. What I should do is just turn the missions off. Alright, maybe it's this way then. No missions. Yeah, those missions do get uh, annoying if you can't do them. They're just teasing us, pretty much. So now our next goal is to go ahead and get a bigger tip up, because this is just going to take forever. Like driving and delivering all of this stuff, which is no fun, especially if you need to drive to the other side of the map. That's what our next soul is going to be. I also have those eggs, but to be honest, to go to where you sell the eggs, which you can sell the eggs up at the village right around here to one of these houses, but it's obviously not worth it just to even bother going there. Like the amount of money you get is so negligible. all that biogas stuff I still don't really know what we're supposed to be doing with it I did upload those uh, two tutorial videos if anyone was interested although I couldn't imagine too many people being too interested in that because 
we pretty much do everything you do in the tutorials in the career mode. And that's obviously the creme de la creme of this game. What I should do is just get cruise control. What would be nice in the next version of this game, 2015 probably, is having fertilizers, but uh, actually having aeroplanes that can fertilize. There have been some aeroplane mods for 2011, which I did download. They were actually really, really fun just to fly around, pretty crazy. Uh, so that would be good, like having some fertilizing planes, as well as uh, being able to point and click to direct your tractors to go to a place so they're all automized. That would be also very nice. That was a lot of money. That was about 15 grand it's right there. So I can go ahead and do that again, but we need to go all the way back because no doubt our harvester is already full. Harvesters cost a lot of money, so we'll have to be using this little crappy old one for quite a while yet. Okay, how are you doing? Okay, the odds are going very solid, but I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, you're all done. You haven't even hit 100% really. Okay, so how about I speed time up to 60 times? Okay. I hope I have all these cravings, but I'm not going to actually sell them just yet. Because we will need them. They could just for sewing and stuff, so we don't have to spend money on really, really good tractors because they cost a lot. So we'll just go ahead and buy, keep the crappy old crammers. And actually, while we're here, let's go to the shop. And at the shop, we want tickets. Have a quick look at them. There we go. So the Gilbert's 1800, look at that difference. It's got pretty much almost five times the amount. That's actually pretty good. And we have, how much money do we have? Oh well, not enough. Oh well. We'll have enough money soon. Uh, so the price of canola is going down now. So it's probably not the smartest thing to go ahead and uh, get another trailer for. But I did want to speed things up so we can go ahead and harvest some more canola. It still hasn't grown yet. I'm sure it will soon though. These people are out late. Some the lady. The people in the cars, that's always the funniest. Because the car, you know, the people in the car, they only have uh, half their body rendered out. Like above their chest is only rendered out. So it looks like normal from a distance. If, if you're up close, you come up close to a person, it's kind of wicked. So it's night time, so I can turn our lights on. I'm pretty sure that turning the lights on has no effect on your petrol or your fuel. And it's, to be honest, like even at night time, it's not too bad at all anyway. So how are you guys doing? You guys haven't even grown yet, have you? Oh, are you serious? This last section's grown up. Oh, they love to tease us. Okay, so, we need you. Let's see how good the AI, AI is. If we'll just do this little box. Should we speed time up to 120 times? Go hire a worker. Okay. I think we can go ahead and do the rest perfectly. Uh, I don't want you to do anything. I want you to go ahead and start working up on over here. Come on, cruise control. So you don't need to actually wait until the whole field is sowed, which is nice as well. So I can just go ahead and do the other side. So you can kill the whole field in one go. Or at least, not kill it, but you know what I mean. Finish the field in one go. After all, we don't want to kill the field, we want to make it grow. I damn well love this spreader, or fertilizer, whatever you want to call it. It fills up so much space, so, it's so good. Okay, 
off. We've done that. That guy's doing that little boxed area. I'm still going at 120 times. Hmm. What I'm thinking of doing, okay, here's what I'll do. Is tell you to stop. Right, let's just slow time down just a little bit. Five times. Now, I want to go ahead and drop this. And what we'll do is we'll do a swapsies. Reason being so we can go ahead and sew a little bit quicker. And we don't really need to fertilize all that much, so I think this is quite a smart move by me. Oh, sorry. We got rid of everything. Get that weight. We got that. Right. Come up on over here. Reverse your way. Alright, that's good enough. So th now this guy, yeah, he's going to do it a lot quicker. I'd say almost twice as quick. And then we can go ahead and install the fertilizer in the food. Okay, so what I'll do is put the speed time back up. And this is going to look kind of funny because this guy is going to be overwhelmed by the weight. But he'll, he'll even see himself out. There you go. And you can drive really slowly and you won't tip, but because we're just driving forward, the weight doesn't really matter. So that guy should be going a lot quicker now. Let's check prices. Canola's going back up. So you know what? I am damn well tempted to get... See, but the canola's going to grow quite soon. We're going so going so fast. So it should be ready soon. Hopefully any minute now. 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 No. Okay. <laughs> well, there we go. So what I'll do is I'll hire another worker and then we should be able to... Yep. I have the feeling that our harvester will be full after this little square so that's going to be handy I wonder if we'll do like everything or just skip that little row over there should have I love how the AI drive instead of me like the way I drive is like a completely crazy lunatic the AI drives with complete precision they know exactly what they're doing Okay, yep, we will need our trailer. So let's go ahead and get that. You ready? Alright, well, so far, I like what we've done this episode, so I'll bring it to an end. Uh, I definitely like the way everything has been going, especially because we did buy that second field. How about I'm going to tell you to stop, and then we'll do that. Once this is full, we'll end the episode, so we'll be right back, pretty much exactly the same spot. Spread it out until this guy is completely full. It's already turning into day. There's the sun again. So if, if the sun were really that high, then it would be a lot, lot brighter. Okay, is the worker still? Yep, he's doing his own thing. Alright, so, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode.